G'day and welcome back to Fun With The 50. Hope you enjoyed the tips last week. We're in a few close finishes, didn't have that much luck, didn't manage to get anything back, but we had a fair bit of fun. Uh, and gonna try something a little different this week. We're gonna look at a few of our bets, one in particular. Uh, we put a $10 bet on, the proceeds of which will go to a charity uh, that we hear from We'll hear about from the people. So we're going to hear back on Twitter and Facebook, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. Name your charity. And you never name your charity, and uh, and that's what we'll be donating the proceeds for. You never know, it could snowball. Uh, We we, we could be doing this on a weekly basis or have charity of the month or something like that. Um, But let's just see how it goes this week. Huge day of racing on Saturday. We've put a lot of time into the form, information all over the place on Rose Hill and Corfield. We've managed to work our way through it. We found a few tips for you with a few emergencies. Uh, Might as well take it from the top, Mark. No worries, Nick. Rose Hill. Yes. Race three, number 10. Like the sound of that. Gold. $7. Put the $10 on at the $7. It's a good price. It's very Richard good price. Clark, the trainer. Not very experienced man. He's only raced, exactly. he's only trained 61 horses in his whole career, which really? is not very many. Chris Waller, he's probably got 61 going around with, on Saturday. With probably, with, uh, probably with a few scratchings. <laughs> with a few late scratchings. Yeah, with a few he's scratchings, got he's still got 62. 65 going around. The he's got a lot. <laughs> Tom Berry yeah. on board, though. Oh, so he's the opposite. Very Quality. experienced trainer. So I think they can come together and make something special. Quality. Had a good run last start out in the country out in Nowra. Uh, yeah. Did very well. Got Quality. back and then just kept coming. Just yeah. kept coming and coming and won. Fantastic. Um, so I want to get on board. I think it's got a little bit left in it. I think it can get over the other runners in the race. So that's Rose Hill Race 3, number 10. A Kiko Gold, $10 to win at the $7. Tell you what, Mark, if you get us out of the day in the first tip, then you're doing very well, $7. So we stay at Rose Hill now. We go to race four. And we like the look of uh, like the look of Lycia, or Lycia, depending on uh, which part of the globe you're from. Uh, you should drive up on the fence, have some, have some genuine gate speed. And against these other three-year-olds, just should. You know, it's got a, got a, a number of starts under its belt. It's racing very well. Unlucky last start. Uh, and for a horse that's always in the finish, always finds a place, uh, should b- bounce back this week. Not a whole lot uh, more to it apart from that. So we're going to go Ro- uh, Rose Hill, race four, number eight. Like here, uh, $10 to win at five fifty currently, Mark. No worries. I go to Melbourne. Fantastic. I go to Melbourne as well. Back Caulfield. to Caulfield. Back to Caulfield. Race five, number two. Mm-hmm. Alamontiel. Alamontiel. Alamontiel, ten dollars to win at the four eighty. The Patrick Payne, Jessica Chain, Jessica Payne, jockey trainer double. It's pain time. That's the way. Bit of pain time. Yeah. So it's one, two out of three. Um, it's uh, it won its last race, uh, and I thought it was a good win. It beat. It was a solid win. It beat three home. Well, it was a last four. Race. It was a four horse race. But the horse doesn't know that. They, they definitely know that. It's a, horse doesn't it's know. only beat three horses home. It's not that the impressive. The horse doesn't know how many horses there are in the race. If it jumps <laughs> straight out of the barriers, it doesn't look behind it. It's not possible. The horse's <laughs> neck doesn't bend that way. Its eyes doesn't look behind. That's what the jockey does. But the horse doesn't know. <laughs> it is what I'm saying. What like, so what, they, they parade around behind the barrier. They parade. The like horse I said, there's only not, three horses. Their horses are walking around in a circle. <laughs> they're not looking across from them, picking out and counting how many horses are. I'm just saying. When they're sitting in the much. barriers, they That's can't look all the way through. And they just assume there's horses all the way out to barrier 20 after they've looked at all the one or two next to them. Anyway, anyway. point is irrelevant. <laughs> We're a core The horse got out the front. <laughs> the horse got out the front and it won. And it won. And I think it was not, not, a, not a too bad a set. I think it'll be in good state tomorrow. I'm, I'm ready for this horse to come to the Melbourne City and have a win. So that's mm. race five, number two, Alamontiel, $10 to win at the 480. Fantastic. Thanks for looking at Caulfield for us, Mark. Now we have the fans horse uh, and we uh, this will be the charity bet that we'll put on so we're going to go back to Rose Hill uh, the main race of the day the feature of the day race seven Uh, Tales of Grimm looks pretty well suited to this race but it's probably at the top weight Um, just last run couldn't quite you know maybe it's peaked in this preparation might not be the time for it Uh, we like the look of uh, allergic um, currently, uh, you know, sitting at pretty juicy odds, Bowman on board, um, loves a soft track, loves Rose Hill, uh, should get an easy trail from a wide gate, and when the whips are cracking, Bowman's far too good a jockey to, um, to let this horse, uh, you know, fall out and, and not be in contention. So, currently sitting at the $14 mark uh, for the win and four fifty the place. We're going to have $5 uh, each way on it. So that's Rose Hill race seven, number two, allergic. Uh, five dollars each way, fourteen and four fifty, and that'll be the charity bet. Um, once we hear what the charity is, uh, once we agree, then any proceeds from that bet will just uh, be donated straight away, and we'll update it on our Facebook page. No right. worries, sounds good. Race nine in Caulfield, the Get Out Stakes. True, the try true, literally the true Get the Out true Stakes. Get Out Stakes. Race nine, number five, Magicus. What a name! Ten dollars to win at the three twenty. 
I ran at Mooney Valley last start and had a good win. I was there, I was present. It was on a Wednesday. Where, why weren't you at work? Is what my boss asked me. With pretty sure. The next day, you I didn't tell him I was at the race, because that's for sure. We came out to ourselves. Um, so this is what it did. It did a heap of work last start. It ran all the way around three or four wide, yeah. and it still found enough gas to win. Tomorrow it's going to go around out of barrier three, so I think it'll get a bit of a better start. And it should, it knows it is, that's what I like about the horse. It, last time it was a bob of the head one. It knows the distance. It knows when the race is going to finish. Apart from the fact that horses don't really know the distance. The horses know when the race, this horse know when, not all horses know when the race is going to finish. <laughs> black caviar for one. Once again, not all horse, horses are black caviar. You greatest horse to have ever raced. But Didn't know where the finish was. The finish line was in no. Royal Ascot, almost lost the race. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's true. That is true. That's true, yeah, it could have been the end of... Luckily, yeah. as the greatest horse of all time, I was yeah. lucky to pull up into a brief canter but anyway, over the last 200 metres and still win the race. So not all horses know the finish is what we're trying to... Magicus is not black caviar, but it knows the distance. Knows and it's one of the distance three times, so get on board. That's... Caulfield race nine number five Magicus ten dollars to win at the three twenty. Fantastic! So there we go. There's your fifty dollars, uh, your hard earned on a Saturday. If you if you if you're with the fellows or you just uh, want something to talk about, we'll go through them again. We've got the five selections. Uh, the first is Rose Hill race three number ten Akiko Gold ten dollars to win. Uh, the next is Rose Hill race four number eight Lycia ten dollars to win. Uh, Caulfield race five number two. Uh, Alamon Teal, ten dollars to win, and the charity pick, the fans pick for the day, uh, Rose Hill Race Seven, number two, uh, Allergic, five dollars each way. Uh, Caulfield uh, Race Number Nine, the Get Out Stakes, number five, Magic has ten dollars to win, and we'll give you the three emergencies that we couldn't manage to fit in this week. Uh, the first emergency will be Caulfield Race Eight, number thirteen, Wall Street Wolf, ten dollars to win at two fifty. The second emergency will be Caulfield Race One, number two, Turbo Street, ten dollars to win at two dollars eighty. And finally, Rose Hill Race Six, number one, pioneering that we've been on before. Yeah, we've tried to pi- we've tried to be pioneers. It's been no good. It's always been in the finish, but we couldn't fit it in at the top weight. Uh, that's pioneering, ten dollars to win at three seventy. So just uh, reminding you that we're on Facebook now. We have uh, um, fun with the fifty. You can see it there on the Facebook and the, the Twitter as well. Yeah, fun, with well yeah, fun with an underscore fifty. Fun with an underscore fifty. If you have a big win, as always, please let us know. We can't hear Send enough the messages about it. in. We want to know. Need we to want keep to hear coming about. in. If Need you to have a coming. loss, same message as last week. Don't want to know about it. Absolutely. Don't want to know about it. Tell someone else. Don't tell us. That's for sure. There is no one home. So uh, keep in mind, we've got our charity bet this week. You never know. If you like the idea of it, let us know. Uh, as we always say, it's all a bit of fun. Please gamble responsibly, uh, responsibly and only bet what you can afford to lose. Three thinks about 50 bucks. Should be a fantastic day on Saturday and uh, happy pumping. Oh, we're